No, he just has to stay on PR. We'll see. I'm not yeah, going to so hard. <laughs> and, I mean, especially after being upset kind of early on in bracket by Maddyton, Helper's been on a tear going through Casterman and Fawn. I'm really interested to see how the VV Helper set goes. I but did see that match between Casterman and Helper, and I'm like, oh, Casterman, don't, <laughs> don't be discouraged. <laughs> it, was, Helper, it was a tough match. Helper needed, like, the, the Pichu rematch. Yeah. Like, just to take the anger oh. out. Right. JoJ live! Okay. He is, in fact, living. JoJ, no! Still living. Kept the jump as well. Able to make the high recovery. But, any, but yes, we do have JoJ versus Hereta. Diddy Kong versus Robert on PS2. We're going to be seeing a lot of like projectiles and items fly in this set, I think. Yeah. Oh, no. This is not a... Rob is not a character that can just neutralize You almost got, got by your own banana. That's all right. He was far enough away. <laughs> It was a funny. Oh, nice little phantom foot there. All right, what conversion we're gonna see here? We got the gyro online. Some nice item play here. Yep, good tech though from Hereta, not getting caught by his own item play. Now we're just kind of resetting to the other side of the stage, giving JoJ the chance to pull his resource and almost take the stock, even with the you know the charge on the F smash. This might be it, does yep. so with the monkey flip grab. I like these neutral getups from JoJ. Be very patient against this Rob and knowing that Rob has, well, her is very good at actually uh, tech chasing. That's the word I wanted. Also, shout out to Betty Hugh, Chilean in chat. Yo, let's go. All right, Hereta now with the chance for a ledge trap, giving up a lot of space to do so as well. Hereta, like, Wanted like the wide ledge trap, maybe anticipating a monkey flip. And unfortunately, Hereta dropping the opportunity twice. JoJ just stubbed his toe on the gyro and Hereta wasn't able to capitalize. Finally though, Hereta on the board with a stock, but 80.8%. Hereta is just making really good use of this gyro play. Okay, there we go. Finally a great conversion there from JoJ. Baking out, grabbing the banana. Ooh, that was a meaty Whoa. setup there with the banana, just barely catching the other side of the shield. Now Hereta, unfortunately, not able to find any of these ledge traps. JoJ's been making it to center every time. And I mean, you know, Diddy Kong is a pretty difficult character to ledge trap. Obviously, both barrels and monkey flip giving him so much access to center stage. Wow, Joji trying to read Hereta there with the up smash, but actually getting it stuff by the gyro. Another good monkey flip. Not really killing until about, what, 170 like last time? But that forward tilt. Yep. That being said, though, Hereta is slowly bringing things back into his favor. We're not seeing a lot of huge hits. We are seeing that up smash, though. We're not seeing a lot of huge hits, but just a lot of, you know, th these nickels and dimes slowly adding up on Joje, bringing him into that up smash kill percent. Yeah, give me these quarters. Give me these half dollars. Give me that Sacagawea. <laughs> oh, no, Joje right now is kind of the one holding all the, the big bills. Oh, my goodness. All right, finally getting some great conversions from Hereta now taking a small percentage lead. Oh, no read there. Both missing their grabs. Yeah, we're bo both of us are looking for pivot grabs on something. What a yeah. cross up from the back air. Putting JoJ in a bad spot, but he swings his way out with the forward airs and almost taking the stock. All right, what do we got here? Offstage play, Ooh. nothing. Hereta making it back, both at equal percentage, but I would say that Rob being the heavier character. <gasps> the wow. <gasps> uh oh. No! The Alright, we tech those. We do in fact tech those. The banana slip animation making it so that Hereta didn't get Was caught. Was that a taunt? Hereta, please. Okay, you know what? You know what? Here are that taunts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think that was pretty sneaky. It kind of looked like you were charging up your forward smash there. Never even thought of doing that. Pull, pull on the little sore out there. But here's the thing, you can only get away with it once. <laughs> yeah, see, I, I definitely want to see that final stock again if we yeah. can before we get... Uh... There we go, you saw that? <laughs> yeah. Rob looking off Phenomenal. into the stars. Alright. 
So we're going to see if Heretic can continue to ride this high, ride this momentum into game two. But right now, Jojay's looking like he's holding the momentum. Oh, yeah. Jojay finally shaking off the nerves from the first game and just clapping back with all these combos. Ooh, and the monkey flip covering the roll. There is no escape from Diddy Kong. It doesn't matter how big the stage is. He's going to be in your face. Uh-oh. But, ooh, Joji barely ooh. living. I love the burner boost to try and cover the angle to see if Joji was looking for the other platform. Just keeping him unsafe at this ledge. Heretta now with all wow. of the stage control uh, projectiles. <laughs> Did Joji just like look back and be like, I hope no one saw that. <laughs> Sir, you're on stream. Unfortunate. Uh-oh. Probably not going to kill, but that's a hefty chunk of damage. I, that was just way too close to the blast zone for comforts. Yeah, if Heretta started that from that that combo, uh, huh? dude, that was odd. They had plenty of gas. It's not like they lost it. Yeah, you know what? Was, maybe didn't need that stock. Maybe I, didn't want that stock. That stock was bad luck. Yeah, <laughs> he was on the, like a bad luck number or something. Exactly. Like, like oh, like, these these digits add up to thirteen. No, thank you. <laughs> Well, he'd be 13 in bracket, though. True. That'd be a lucky number. <laughs> 14, though. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. All right. But JoJ definitely making use of that SD, starting to get the percentages back into his favor, but not by a lot. The banana saving his life. Potassium saves lives, kids. Heretta was going for the kill right there. Eat your bananas. And once again, just keep, he keeps tripping on these bananas just placed on the ground. The ghost of Brawl. <laughs> it haunts us all. Seriously. Oh, boy. What are we going to see here? Oh, okay, I fantastic love that grab. empty movement Death. from Heretta in the tombstone. All right, Heretta, not so far not regretting losing that first stock. So far. Yep. Big charge on the F smash, but from center stage and no rage, Beretta uh -oh. is living. Oh, but almost out of gas, had to actually air dodge back to get on stage. What wow. a catch. The I last hit of the up smash. All right, but Heretta, as aggressive as ever. Joji getting this percentage, 40%, 58. Oh my gosh, what a parry. That's what you got to do against neutral air against with Rob. This is what I was saying before, is just once Diddy Kong gets in, it is so hard to get him out like an infestation. It's just monkey business at this point. It's, it really is. Wow! What a lovely, like, what was that? A, um, is an air dodge into the ground back. It was a wave dash. It was a wave dash back. And getting that up smash. Now Heretta regrets losing that first stock. Yeah, you can't be, can't be giving up stocks like that. Especially against Jojay, who took full advantage of it. Peretta is going to be taking us to Kalos, actually, as our counter pick for Game Three. Interesting. Actually, not a bad stage for not a bad stage for both characters. I'd yeah. say Diddy Kong because he can actually like cling to the mm -hmm. side of the stage, and Rob because he does have those platforms that can just tombstone you to death. Yeah, our our one remaining wall cling stage. Rip Yoshi's Yoshi story. Yoshi story sucks. Anyway. I liked it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I, I miss Lila. You know what? You can have Yoshi's story if we get Lila back. Uh, that's a trade I'm willing to make. Fine. Cool. I'm, I'm okay with that. <gasps> oh! Whoa! Whoa! JoJay saw his opportunity and just couldn't do it. I don't even think that would have killed at that low percentage. Heretta absolutely would have been able to make it back. It's not about killing. It's about terrorizing. It, yeah. About sending a message. Heretta, though, sending a bit of a message, catching the jump on Joje. No way. Nice forward smash. No, he told he sent you the whole invitation. Please RSVP, tech roll in, and Joje said yes. That's I will bring my plus one. It's the banana peel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's do it again. Heretta just is on lock this game. Not missing any of these reads. Absolutely. Using that gyro for the stage control. Finally, though, JoJ finding an in, but Heretta making it out. All right. JoJ can mash. Off stage. Yeah. As you can see, those platforms are dangerous because Heretta can just really up there or forward air quite safely coming back. Oh. Ooh. What? Three grabs in a row if it doesn't work the first time. All right. Oh, the wow. reflector coming in. From Heretta, Jojay 
Joji needs to slow eyes. this down. Yeah, just absolutely fantastic awareness from Heretta. Knew that Joji was looking for a kill, had the banana in hand, but finally Joji on on the board with a stock, but a great combo breaker up air from Heretta, making sure that that one stray hit is not going anywhere. All right, Heretta just looking to play this out patiently, rack up that damage, eventually kill, but once they're at triple digits, oh, they can do this. Up one full stock, don't overextend now. Mm. Wow, oh, because they were in between the gyro and the banana. Yeah, yeah. Joji just did not have anywhere to go in that last stock. I want to see. We're seeing the F smash again. No right. way. Rolled into it. I don't think Joji was very happy with that set. Had some phenomenal uh, plays in that second game, but overall, I think they were disappointed in yeah, themselves. That, you can read it on their face. That game three was definitely rough. That was a. Especially after that, you know, that F smash. That's a yeah. confidence killer if I've ever seen one. Exactly. It's like, man, why did I roll? Yeah, right yeah. there, too. But here's the thing, they shouldn't be upset. They played really, really well. And was that winners? No, losers. Yep, lo uh, that is Heretta moving on into losers' semis. As we see, no, we're not seeing VVB being on stream. Aww. Tragic. That's all right. Well, who do we get to see then? Uh, well, our only other match is John Dill. Ooh. Bring him on. Where's John? Where's Dill? Dill's right there. Dill's ready. John is, isn't John sitting in the... No, no, John is... Uh, no, that's How helper. dare you? Well, I, How I dare you I compare didn't me see to you come in. I'm How sorry. How dare you? That's so rude. You're that's both so rude. production. That's so rude. Both There's a giant players. box in front Why of would you name? Why would you say I was John Numbers? That's so rude. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's actually the other one. <laughs> hey, Numbers. <laughs> hey, speak of the devil and he shall appear. <laughs> numbers uh, walked in and grabbed his headphones. I was, <laughs> waiting, I was waiting for that to happen, honestly. <laughs> I saw them on there and I was like, there's no way Numbers plays without his headphones. Uh, you guys, what do we got going on coming up? What do you got coming up? We got uh, Alpha? Alpha Whoa. 6. We do have Alpha 6 coming up this August 5th uh, at the Brooklyn venue, one of the best Smash venues around. And I mean, as you can see, there's money coming through for Alpha 6. A 3K pot for singles and a 500 pot for HDR. I love seeing HDR getting more money put into the community and as well doubles for both of those games and an items invitational. Items invitational? Did you get invited? I heard I you're a monster at items. <laughs> I did not get invited, Aww. unfortunately. They, I mean, it must have gotten lost in the mail or something. That's all right. You know what? You, you can go up and be like, hey, hey, put my yeah, name down just, for the uh, next one. You, you know me. Yeah. You know me. I'm a force to be reckoned with. So what do we do here every Tuesday, guys? What, what, do, we, what do we do in this area every, every Tuesday? Every Tuesday, Waypoint Warriors <laughs> over there at uh, Waypoint Cafe NYC. Some of the best of the best in New York City. Entry fee is only six. Venue is six. And it happens every single Tuesday without fail. Even when people are going to an Anamanaguchi concert tomorrow, we showed up. We ran brackets. You got a 48-player cap. You get a discount for bringing a setup. And if you're like, hey, I'm out early, you can always bully your way on.